So this location that I'm in right now, I found because I was going to visit my mother who had just moved to Warren. And I thought it was a perfect spot because it's the corner of Water and Main Street. And it was empty for a long time and I thought that would be nice to put a little shop in there. When it first opened up, I put a space monkey out front. It's the Planet of the Apes from NASA. I thought it would be cool to have that because people would be able to, you know, give directions from my building or whatever. I just thought it was something cool that I wanted to put out there. And now everybody knows my store as the Space Monkey store. This is my buddy Zippy. He's family now. My name is Tara Hurley. I am the owner of Warren Exchange. My side hustle has turned into my main hustle, where I used to buy and sell things at flea markets. Now I just do it as a full-time job. I used to be a filmmaker. That was my previous life. I'd like to think that I'm currently still a little bit of a filmmaker. Whenever anyone comes into the shop, I always say, hey, how you doing today? Is there anything in specific that you're looking for? Because if you look around the shop, there is no... Um, spot for anything. It's just, I, I'm not going to say that it's thrown everywhere, but it's, uh, these items have taken a life of their own. Sometimes I have people pick things up from the store and say, uh, how much do you want on this? And I look at it, I was like, wow, I didn't even know I had that. You could hit me on a day where I have all of the marbles that you could ever dream of if you're a marble collector. You know, I got a really cool Black Panther collection with all of the newspapers, some posters, and you know, that came in one day off the street. I've had some incredible jewelry. I've had awesome coins, shipwreck coins and stuff like that. I got two Salvador Dali's and I got them off a junk truck. I don't even want to say what I paid, but uh, <laughs> it was a, it's a home run. Every day is a new day and you never know what's going to walk through the door. So that's what the exciting part about this business is. It can, sometimes it can be a slow grind and you only make a dollar here, a dollar there, and then once in a while you can hit a home run. Everybody has a story. No, I, We have a customer coming in. I think some of it is silver. I don't know if you put drops on it or something. Yeah, I will. Yeah. But if it's some marked, of them might it, be. it should be marked. It, so far it's all silver plate. If it was flatware, it would be marked sterling silver. I would have a cartouche. It has a lion with its tail up. Those are ways to tell silver plate. These are all silver plate. That's silver? Silver plate. It's yeah. it's silver over copper, so you get the copper price, but yeah. I don't think you'd have enough to sell because you have to, yeah. for that, it's well, by the pound. So I have buckets and buckets of the stuff over here. That's yeah. why I wouldn't even it's offer to buy it because I have too much yeah. to yeah, have even right, carry too. right now. Inventory changes every day. I never, I have people that call, and I also keep a list of people that are into specific things. When dealers come in, I always ask them, I say, what's your big score? Now the first score that I made I can remember it like yesterday. It was on Craigslist. All old antique wooden fishing lures with glass eyes. I didn't know anything about them. I don't, and this is actually a fishing town, so it would be good for this area. That's what I figured. So he came in with them, and he had a bunch of them, and he said he wanted $400. Now, at the time, $400 was a lot to me. And I wasn't sure, and he tells me, he said, you know, this, everybody collects these, and it used to be good until doctors and lawyers got into it. Warren Exchange. I'll send you a picture in, actually I'll just send it right now as soon as I find my phone. Oh yeah, just wait on that. <laughs> but I am excited to see it. All right, all right. Yeah, no problem, I'll see ya, bye. Today, I haven't made any money. I had, had customers with silver plates, so I didn't buy anything. But tomorrow, I could buy a Salvador Dali and just hit a home run with it. You know, that's the thing that keeps me going. That's like, like, you know, it's small grind, small grind, small grind. I sell a sterling ring. I sell a sterling necklace. As long as I'm here, there's a chance that something cool is going to walk in. I had a guy come in, and this was probably about a year or two ago, who was doing a restoration on a house. And apparently in houses, they used to put coins in the door frame because it was good luck to walk by money. I've gotten prototypes toys that are prototypes because we're in Hasbro's area. Oh, I had this collection of Civil War letters and I did research on them and I actually just sold them about a month ago. You know, this is living history. It's not just something that you see in a book. Especially, it's in cursive. They hand, you don't get handwritten letters anymore. You get texts. You get emails. And to get a handwritten letter that is from that period is just, it's incredible. I mean, I get things that pass through my hands that are just so cool. I get things that are hundreds of years old. You know, you never get bored because you're constantly learning. And I enjoy that.